another finished crankcase. Ah, g'day, Phil from PhilTech here. Today we're going to talk about where we're up to with the production of the Leslie V12 engine. We're currently in the process of producing five one-fifth scale versions of the Leslie V12 engine and they should be out later this year or at worst early next year. We have unfortunately had a few delays in manufacturing due to the fact that originally we'd sourced several of the parts from other manufacturers which have since gone out of business. So we've had to figure out how to make them ourselves and this is going well but it is taking time. The feedback from our expression of interest form has indicated that the one fifth scale is of similar interest to the quarter scale version of the engine. So we've decided out of the first 10 engines that we're producing to make the first five one fifth scale. The quarter scale one is still awaiting a test flight. We're currently building a fiberglass fuselage P51 Mustang and that should be completed its testing by later this year so we should be able to release the engine sometime next year so if you want to know about that check the news section on the website let's look at production in a bit more detail over here we've got many of the parts that we either outsourced or we bought from other manufacturers that are no longer easily available or uh, in manufacture. So from Fox in the US, for instance, we, we originally purchased the cylinder liners, the gudgeon pins, the piston rings, uh, and that's been a, a challenge, but obviously we've, we've been able to build our own cylinder liners, so we're really pleased with that and you can look at a video that we've made of that if you want to know the detail a bit more specifics about that the gudgeon pins well obviously we've got plenty of them now and we have found a local supplier that can help us with the manufacture of them as for the client regulator that's been a lot trickier uh, they were a beautifully made american device and we are uh, we've found various components from it that we can get from alternate sources but we're going to have to manufacture the casing ourselves and we're in the process of doing that right now um, and obviously we've got the crankshaft back here and we're still deciding do we build it in-house can we build it in-house uh, I like building everything in-house or do we find another supplier uh, we've got the gears from the gearbox well, we're going to have a go at building them ourselves. We do have our own gear cutting machine, uh, and I like to build stuff myself. So that's just a smattering of, of the, these parts that we've been having problems with. Let's now look at the parts that we've always been building in-house. Okay, here we go. We've got the, we've got the crankcase here. And, well, we've always made that in-house, and they're nearing completion. You can see enough there for the first five motors, and we've got another box load for the next five already done up to that stage. So they're nearing completion. Here we go. We've got the, this little plastic part is a um, sump insert. So it goes into the sump there, and clicks in there with the cover on and that helps reduces the sump size uh, which is vitally important for a two-stroke motor and they're, they're uh, already in complete so what else have we got here we've got the water jacket so this is the item where the cylinder liner slides into and it has a, if we pull that liner back out again, you can see 
it's got a cavity in there that ultimately has a little cover on it and that's where the water tracks around to help cool the cylinder liner and they're also nearing completion so they're under control the cylinder heads here well they've been going along well and we've also got here where the water fits in we've got a little insert that has o-rings on it and is screwed down so that's how that goes together we've just got a couple of threaded holes to finish on that and they're ready to go but we have made a few design changes along the way just little ones like these tiny parts here this is a pipe that transfers the water from the cylinder head to the water jacket and we've decided to make it out of stainless because the the small holes that were tending to get a bit clogged up when we made them out of aluminium and yeah we were able to bore them out a little bit bigger making them out of stainless now we've got the exhaust pipes originally we made the exhaust pipe in two pieces we welded a, a bit of aluminium tube to a block of aluminium we then machined the aluminium then we bent the the pipe then we grit blasted and that was an awful lot of work and that was not the way we we felt was suitable for manufacturing in a more production oriented way so we have worked out a way of making it from billet in one piece where we have machined it up then we put it through our little miniature pipe bender bend it and grip blast it and that's a lot more streamlined approach and so but it has meant we've had to do a redesign here again of the the whole pattern to screw it on to and these, all these little design changes have taken time but improved the final product here you go that's a bit of a glimpse of where we're up to with our production of the leslie v12 engine Let's go over the difference between the one-fifth scale version and the quarter scale version of the engine. Firstly, the obvious one is that the cowlings are a different width. So we'll need to have longer exhaust pipes on the quarter scale version. And secondly, the quarter scale has got a lot, much larger propeller diameter to the quarter scale, but we still need to run the engine at a similar speed, which is around the six to 7,000 RPM. So will have a different gearbox ratio uh, and finally the one-fifth scale cowling is a lot tighter than the quarter scale and so we're probably going to have to put a modified smaller carburetor on the one-fifth scale another finished engine component for the Leslie V12 well, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to know more details about the engine, check out our website. Till next time, I'm going to go back to making some more parts. If you'd like to know more about the Leslie V12 model engine, check out our website.